Welcome, welcome ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part five of Let's Play RimWorld Power Couple. So at the moment we have a troop of tribes people from the Galgar who are attacking immediately. Of course they've come from the north where we have built less sandbags. It's always a plus. What have they got on them? They've got a great bow and a short bow. That's okay because we got lots of guns. Everybody's got a gun. Um, so I'm going to draft everybody and put them in the middle of this uh, dumping zone because there's lots of rocks around them to protect them from arrows. And of course their, their, their guys are just going to go around the back. But that's okay because we can get Komboda from here. Rearrange that because they couldn't reach. Ha ha! Now you're fleeing! Yes, run away, Caxigo. I don't care about Caxigo. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. Chris needs to rest. Penelope's tending to Allegro, who must have been attacked by that other evil lady. We need to go treat um, Chris though. Allegro can wait a moment. We healed most of his wounds. I just wanted to get this, these um, bow wounds sorted. Because bow wounds are pretty intense. Um... Now here I'm just going to go, hey, hey. look how much you've made, you've already made way so many enough. Alvin Kura is resting, everybody's sleeping, Allegro's nearly healed, he's all good. Um, I should probably move my research bench now because, um, oh, itchy head, um, I should move my research bench because... The, the 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 dark guy is my main researcher now, so I suppose I'll mine in here a bit of a gap. Ooh, faith craft. Go deconstruct that. Ah, uh, take that. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. She made lots of sand. Now a few more of our sandbags are done. It's always good. <sighs> that annoys me so much. I can't handle, I can't handle it. I got all these things over here ready for harvesting. Could you go cut this raspberry bush just because I feel like sending you to go cut that one. Yeah, that's caribou meat. Chris. Good work, mate. Cut a few raspberry bushes. Then I want you to haul the berries. Yeah, haul 75 berries back to home. And then I won't consider us low on food anymore, I don't think, because... Aha! See? It agrees with me now. Oh, Alvin Crow didn't have a weapon. That's why he wasn't shooting at that raid. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Bruh. 
top quality entertainment here. Dark Eye, did you just try and hit on... Everyone's trying to hit on Penelope. Penelope's like, no, I got a husband. What don't you like him for? Oh, because he butchered a corpse. And he's apparently disfigured. But he's not. Oh, maybe he got shot and now he is disfigured. His right eye is crushed. Oh, that's probably not good for his beauty. Because he was a beautiful, beautiful man. And then, when it gets to warmer weather, along here, we're gonna plant a row of cheese. Cause we've got lots of tree stuff here. Should we plant? I don't want olives because olives are gross. Cherries, bulls, bananas. I'm gonna go with cherries. Cherry. No, that's kind of ugly. Um, I want something that's going to match the kind of art of the game the best. So probably the apple trees. Probably the apple trees is probably the best bet. Ah, oh, itchy ear. Mind most of that out, so that is good. Uh, Penelope's doing all her things. Chris needs to go and cut some trees again because apparently nobody felt like refueling the fires because they didn't feel like cutting the wood because I'm bad at managing this game. Okay, architect. Um, temperature. That's how you find things in this game, right? You just randomly click all the buttons until you find the thing you're looking for. That That's how you're supposed to do it, right? No? My bad. There you go. Nice and warm now. It's nice and warm, yes, yes. No one's got hypothermia. Everybody's nice and warm. Every crew is gonna cook some meals. Good work, mate. Uh, we're low on food again. It's the seventh of winter. Chris, go and cut some more raspberry bushes down. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Littlefoot the puppet pooper should be coming to get it. Oh, uh, all those. Good work, mate. And the puppet pooper should come and get the other stuff. Good. Got some milk. It's frozen milk. Milk to make meals good. 
was hoping it wasn't just going to sit there for all eternity. Uh, okay. Oh, look, those sandbags are all done. And those ones are all done. That one's not. Those ones are nearly done. Those ones have been done a little bit. And I should probably build a bit of sandbaggage here. Now, who's got the plague? Chris and Alvin Quiro have both got the plague. Well, Chris needs to go and rest until healed because according to the rules of my game, if he dies, then this is the end of this Let's Play. Go, Penelope, heal Chris. Where's Alvin Quiro? Um, let's make this not for prisoners, so I make a medical bed so Alvin Quiro can rest until healed as well. Go okay, feed him. Good. Now treat Alvin Quiro. Um, health. Excuse me, he's plague. He's minor and untreated. Okay. 37%, 37%. Good. Okay, now I need some lights for them because I don't want them to go berserk and get up. So Penelope love, you've got a job, and that is to turn on these, to cut this tree down, so you can put both these lights on for them. <sighs> what are your needs? Not Chewie's master. Um, so you want to be Chewie's master. Done. Chris wants to be his master. So Alvin Kuro can have both the puppies. <laughs> Um, okay, good. So what are your needs now? Repulsive barrack. My barrack is a repulsive place. You're not in a barrack. You're in a... So It's a hospital. You're in a hospital. You're not in a barrack. Oh, it's their... Oh, that's their barracks. It's your bedroom. You want to say... I oh, know. No, you'll be fine. So your mood is fine. Um, your mood is fine currently, but it's gonna go downhill. Cause don't don't try and hit on Penelope then. Oh my lord. Um, health needs health character. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, yes, plague. Fifty percent immunity. 50% immunity. Good. They're getting good. Still minor. Healing. Beautiful. 52% still minor. Minor untreated. Penelope should be in here soon. She's got food. She's going to tend. We're going to run out of medicine. Jose. Go cut the heel root, look for stuff we can actually get some heel root from. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to get any medicine, am I? Okay. Um, yeah. That's good. Uh, not. Okay. Penelope, where are you? What are you doing? You're cutting plants. Good. Because that's what I just told you to focus on. Can you get, come on, get any, any heal root from this? One or two would be great. Oh man. Oh man. It's just not doing. It's just not doing. Okay, how's your health going? Minor plague still 68% immunity. Minor plague still 69%. Penelope, you need to treat his plague with our last remaining good medicine. Yep, done. Assuming berries for yourself. No, you need to treat Alvin Quiro first. 
You're being chased by pirates? Well, we have the plague. Go away, Sortoro. She got major plague. Yours is still minor. Good, good. Okay, 76%. Yours is major, but it's 76%. It'll be fine. You should both heal with the last couple of medicine. Um, build a copy of this in here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Architect, orders, mine, that out. Uh, where is that? Okay, yeah, you finished that. Good. Low food, low medicine, I know. Are there any more trees to set to cut? No, there are not any more trees. Tree, tree, there aren't any more trees left to cut. <sighs> I'm not going to get a single heal root from this, are we? Health. Major plague, 97%. Major plague, 97%. Come on, 98%. You can get immunity, Chris. It's still only major, it's not extreme, so it should, yeah, it should be fine. And you're fine too. Yay, we didn't die of the plague. A local hare has gone mad. Oh no, not a crazy rabbit. And take everyone to fight the dead rabbit. Better to be safe than sorry. Dead rabbits are dangerous, you know. Dem rabbits are dangerous. Dangerous. Right. How's Penelope's rest going? Good. His rest is... Come on, Penelope. Finish resting up and go fight some animus so you can get some more shooting abilities and capabilities and skills! Chris is going to cook some berries up. Good. Yes, go vomit. Hunt the squirrel. Yes, that is the best thing for you to hunt, the squirrel. Oh, you're going to hunt two of them. Good. That'll be good for you. I actually hope you miss lots of time so you get lots of EXP. You're nearly level 7 at shooting. Buffalo wool. So architect, build orders, uh, fur furniture. That's what I want. Animal bed out of buffalo wool. Deconstruct this tablet. Get some real beds for our dogs.
to construct all of those. Basic fuses finished being researched, so now we go basic prosthetics. Which should be good, because that means we'll be able to... Um, we will be able to... What will we be able to do? We will be able to... Oh, be like peg legs and shiz. Yeah, peg legs. Orders mine that. And a little bit more here. Now, structure, doors, found some sandstone blocks, where, how many do I have? I have 17. No, I have, there's a mud brick, uh, I've got lots of mud brick, I think I might go with mud brick, build some mud brick doors in my prison area, which is actually hospital slash bedroom area at the moment. you know building those doors will be good hunt who's gonna come hunt Joe's is gonna hunt the rat that was that nice caribou meat okay good because we need to use that to make more kibble. Penelope's out here harvesting raspberry bushes, so is Joe's. Melbourne Quiros. No, Penelope, you don't just leave without taking any back with you. Love. Melbourne Quiro, you too. Joe's. You guys are all terrible. You gotta take berries with you back. So that we get lots in our stockpile. So that when we need to cook, we can. Because we got lots of foods. Okay, good. Lots of food for our muffalos and stuff. Cooking some meals, cooking some uh, stuff, refuel the stove, I know you were asleep but refuel the stove so that when you get up in the morning you can uh, cook. Because I want to get all this meat used and put into kibble or meals before it gets to spring because it's going to be too hot. Oh my god! People from Bring It Album Queer and people from Trade Ship at the Craig. Oh, at the Crag. Bring It Album Queer is going to be our best friends though. Yeah, I mean, I, they're my best friends. Penelope? Penelope's my, yeah. Penelope's level 10. Penelope, go talk to Gecko. What has she got for us? She'll buy all these. Um. We don't have the money for most things here, but we can sell quite a few things. I kind of want some medicine and I kind of want, I want that gun, but I can't afford it. I kind of want, I'm going to sell that and buy some medicine. Yes. 
And then Penelope's going to find these people from Bring It Album Quero. They've bought bears to trade. Bears. Um, sorry, I don't have the money to buy a bear, but you can have... Oh, no, it's a female. I want to keep the female Muffalo calf. You can have this puppy, Pain. And then you can give me some components. You can have all of this random leather. All of the random leather. I'm going to keep the muffalo wool, obviously. Obviously, because I need that. Um... Hmm. What's the life expectancy on a grizzly bear? 22. Hmm. It doesn't include live plants, so that's nice. Wildness 80%, minimum handling skill there. What's your fighting ability though? Would I grab a male grizzly bear to help me fight? That might be a waste of my money at this point. Um, I'm going to accept that. I'm going to have Penelope go back over here. Trade with Gecko, get those components. Because they're going to help in the future. As many components as I can get will help. Um, okay, so those visitors are leaving. Cats! I'd get the cats because they're cute, but there's not much point because they can't do anything for me. Um, have I put this zone in properly? Animal area one. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's been expanded, so ha <laughs> ha. And ha <laughs> ha. And ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. Finish up that bow. I told you to stop, Penelope. But clearly I missed the button, so... That didn't work according to plan. So we got some money now. That's always nice. We got some stuff. Got salt here for some reason. Um, okay, Penelope. Stop doing that now. Yeah, eat your meal. And then I want you to go... See if they'll buy those bows off us. Probably not. No, they don't want to buy our bows. Why won't you buy my bows? Terrible people. So mean. So mean. Um. I could buy a bunch of steel. Because steel is always useful. And that will be it for this part. And I will see you guys later when we come back to... Oh, hang on. What's in our cargo pods? Some yayo. We can sell some yayo. Yayo we can. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to quickly sell this before we do this. 
Don't leave. Don't leave, traders. Littlefoot needs to come put this in storage. Littlefoot's coming. He's running. He's no. Penelope. Go trade with him. Run, 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 run. Penelope, run. Trade, trade. Aww. There's even a male muffalo calf that I could sell. I have to wait for more traders to come now. All right. So I'm going to end this part here with this flash storm that's threatening to destroy our civilization. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye!